Today we are comparing two immutable Linux desktops from the OpenSUSE community, Aeon Desktop and Kalpa Desktop. Both share some ideas but have important differences that can make one better for you than the other. Let's go through the facts so you can make an informed choice. All official references are linked in the description. Both Aeon and Kalpa are OpenSUSE projects, but not official products of OpenSUSE. They are community-led and governed by their respective maintainers, meaning development prioritize and decisions are made by the project owners, not by the OpenSUSE board directly. Eon is distributed as a raw disk image. This method is not beginner friendly. You need to write the image directly to a disk. Kalpa, at the time of this video, still uses the micro OS ISO with the Yast installer, which is familiar to many OpenSUSE users and far easier for newcomers. Eon uses GNOME and is built on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Kalpa uses KDE Plasma and is based on OpenSUSE MicroOS. Eon uses the tailored installation kit TIK, essentially a shell script installer. It's strict and locked down, enforces full disk encryption with no option to skip, no choice of partitioning layout. Risky if you have multiple disks since you must be careful to select the right one. Older hardware without TPM or trusted platform module will still work, but you will need to manually enter a passphrase on each boot. Kalpa for now uses the Yast installer, more beginner friendly, allows flexible partitioning, does not force full disk encryption. Both projects strongly recommend installing software in this order. Flat packs from your software center or flat hub. RPMs inside a user distro box. RPMs inside a root distro box. RPMs via transactional update. Only for essentials like drivers or kernel modules. For Aeon, flat pack and distro box are the primary intended method from day one. For Kalpa, the recommendation is the same, but using the Yast based install means users familiar with RPM workflows will feel more at home initially. At present, Kalpa has more accessible and complete documentation compared to Eon. Eon's documentation is available, but it's less beginner focused and more spread out across wiki pages and forums. So, if you want GNOME, you are comfortable with a strict immutable workflow and have modern hardware, Eon might be the right choice. If you prefer KDE Plasma, want a more traditional installer and more control during setup, Kalpa is worth trying. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and check my channel for more OpenSUSE Linux content. Until next time, stay OpenSUSE, keep exploring and thanks for watching.